There are some moments in life you never forget. Grant and I had to come up with, as we started doing camera tests, we had to start looking at the dynamics of shooting in the water, because it's really tricky. We did a couple of weeks of testing where we put cranes on boats, jib arms. We tested with drones, we tested with underwater cameras. And what surprised me is that these boats are 60 feet long, but they're also quite fragile. And then you don't want to get in the way of the actors. So you had to look for light cameras. You had to look for mounts which would be suitable. A-man crew is the most difficult team sport in the world. The average human body is just not meant for such things. Most of you will not be chosen. Beautiful speech, coach. This was probably the most challenging film we've done together. First of all, the oars are you know, 20 feet on either side, so it's very wide. It's also super long, so you can't get very close to it. You're on a boat next to it, but you can't get anywhere near in front of it or to the side of it because you create a wake and you would capsize it. So you're on a long arm. And so you had to find ways to make it dynamic. And Martin, we all worked on it. For me, one of the key things of George as a director is he's really a visual filmmaker. He knows what, where the camera is, what it does, and he's not fishing around. He knows what he wants. The other thing we had is, because we're shooting it in February, you know, so we're also having sunlight issues. It's light at nine in the morning and dark at four in the afternoon, so we don't have a lot of time. And so on top of him being just a beautiful cinematographer, he also understands what we're up against and he works quickly. We gotta beat those other schools first, but coach says we have a shot. Maybe we can roll as a team. If you guys don't get yourselves figured out, you're not racing at all. The boys, that boat, Tiger. The film carries that theme of unity, you know, given that you've got eight boys in one vessel and having to be in complete synchronicity. <laughs> we'll see anger and hate on television every day, all day. We tend to forget that 99% of us get along every day and our differences really aren't that much and there aren't that many. We, we see that what we're made of and see that we're actually on each other's sides. And I think that this film reminds us that we are all in this together.